right there, Craig Treble, the only Suzuki rider to win this season. He won at Houston. It's a Harley on the other side. Eddie Krawick trying to win in front of his hometown crowd. This is a very evenly matched pair right here because if you look at the numbers coming into the final round, they were all within one hundredths to two hundredths of each other every single round. So it could be decided on the starting line. stock motorcycle win list. So Craig Treble takes a win here in English Town and adds to the history. Johnny Thompson, you got a broken tib fib. That's a very painful injury. Let, let me ask you, how much pain are you feeling right now? <laughs> Absolutely none. Absolutely none. I don't know if it was worth a broken leg, but... How did you get through this good. weekend? Uh, you know what? It's racing. You just got to do what you got to do. Congratulations. Gary Gerald. And with Craig Treble, who picks up the Wally. And my goodness, what a weekend we just heard from Johnny Thompson and the injury. Did you think after the accident happened to him and you got kind of a fill-in crew here that you'd be anywhere near capable of getting to a final and winning it? I know that this motorcycle was capable, and I know that English Town seemed, for some odd reason loves me, but... Uh, I'll tell you, Gary, it was crazy. I had so many different crew people all weekend long, but none of them were bad. Everybody knew what was going on, so we just all put our heads together, and we made it happen. And I, I tell you what, Michael Phillips, man, one of my best friends in the whole world. I can't, I can't say enough good things about that guy, but I got to mention Pond of Kingston. They helped me out this weekend. They gave me a little gas money, so we, got, we gave them their money's worth, I'll tell you that. And PSI and Mac Tools, Skinner, all the people that have been helping us out and keeping us alive. Second time for him to hold a Wally at English Town. He did it two years ago in 2007. Pro Stock Cars, Mike Edwards and Jag Coughlin. Rematch of the 98 final here. It was won at that time by Jag Coughlin. And a rematch of the final just a week ago in Chicago where Mike Edwards, just like today, had the better race car, but he red-lighted in the final against Jag Coughlin. But let me tell you, right now, coming into this final round, 300 of a second advantage over the first two rounds that Mike Edwards had over Jag, and then... Five hundreds quicker in the semifinals. So on paper, I mean, this should be all Mike Edwards, but he's got to go green, and he better not be spotting Jake too much. Powerful car against great driver. Right hole shot to Jag. Look at that. He does it again, not to take anything away from Mike Edwards driving, but Jack Coughlin is unbeatable. Whole shot win, 6.59 with an eight at 209 miles an hour. It, a team, again, we've got from Jeg Sr. that we talk to all the time. we got Jeggy, the driver, he's just a machine. And then all these guys, we're the same guys who've been together for five years with Cagnazzi, and we just got a routine and we do what we need to do. And, and I just couldn't be prouder to work with all of them. When you're as successful as this team is, nobody wants to be the weak link. Congratulations. We check in with Gary. And with Jay Coughlin, who just is like a machine. He keeps doing it over and over and over again. Here comes another Wally for the collection. How do you explain this, Jake? You rise to the occasion. It just seems like every time you're taking the racetrack this season. <laughs> well, it's it's not just me. To, uh, believe me, Gary. Uh, it's a whole Cagnazzi effort uh, organization uh, led by Victor and uh, Brita and everybody back at the shop. Uh, my father, Jack, at home and... Uh, Roy Simmons, the entire crew, Rich and Steve and, and uh, Big Show. Everybody's just done a fantastic job. Samantha's here this weekend. Her brother's still in the race, so good luck to him. But, uh, you no, know, Mike Edwards, it doesn't get any tougher than him, and uh, I'm a little fired up right now. Uh, you know, we had just had a heck of a drag race there, and, uh, you know, to stand on top of the roof of that uh, Chevy Cobalt again uh, for everybody back at Cagnazzi is just awesome. Uh, you know, thanks to... United Association here. Uh, there's two races in a row. We've won of theirs, and uh, we've really enjoyed that and enjoy their support of uh, NHRA full throttle drag racing. You know, by the way, it was a whole shot win. Congratulations. Whoops. Good Thank you all. Ashley Forsood, the number one qualifier, has never won from the number one spotting, starting spot. Here are the wins by lane. In funny cars, 11 to 3. Tony Petron does have the lane choice. He's obviously taken that left hand lane. And Tony Petron, I think, has a slight advantage coming into this. Ashley Forsood, your number one qualifier. She ran just a little bit quicker in the first round than Tony, a 406 to a 407. But then the next two rounds, Tony has actually outran her, and that's why he has that lane choice. Big advantage for Tony. Over. Whoa, and Ashley almost gets 
in trouble at the top end. The winner, Tony Pedragon. 424 with a six, 260 miles an hour. Well, it's just, you know, we, we do our thing every week and, and we work hard. Th this particular race, the track changes drastically with temperature, and I'm just glad I've, I've got a guy like Kurt Elliott to read the racetrack. And glad we got the win. Glad to have Kenny with us. What kind of a role, Tony? See you. What kind of a role is this team on right now when you put together back-to-back -back wins? A lot of hard work. You know, we've gotten uh, got our rear end handed to us a couple of times earlier this year by a couple of teams. Just a matter of getting it together. I'm glad I poor Quaker stayed in this car because it lost traction about seven, six, seven hundred feet. I was just watching that NASCAR race because we had a little delay. My family go to our website pedregonracing.com see the things that we're doing at the next race lots of love uh, we're going to help a lot of kids out we're going to raise some money for them always jimmy johnson foundation.org so uh another good day you're a whole shot winner by the way too that was a tough one man that was a tough one and he's a points leader now as well that run resolved the tie with ashley ford hood larry dixon his seventh final round here in the last eight years. Larry Dixon and the shake up against Antron Brown and Grandma. Oh, red light, light. For Antron Brown. It belongs to Larry oh. Dixon. He doesn't even have to take it all the way down. Alan Avi Racing has a win with Larry Dixon once again. Larry, his fifth race win here at Englishtown. Dave? Well, Alan Johnson. Shaking Jason McCullough's hand, crew chief on this effort with the shake on board this weekend. What's it like one and one in front of him? Well, that's obviously great. You know, I mean, that's not really the way we had Blandit going down, but you know, we'll take a win, and however we can get it. And uh, we're a little overboard, I guess, there in that run. But you know, hey, you don't learn nothing if you don't go for it once in a while, right? You who hoots the gold man last usually wins. The kids are here as well. The full throttles being uncorked. What is it about you and English Town around the Father's Day weekend? It used to win it on Father's Day a week in advance this year. Tell us about this day and how it's going, Larry. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. I tell you what, uh, English Town, this is, a, this is a tough track to race on. But whatever it is, we got the mojo for it, and I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad that came with me over here to Alan Johnson. You know, we got Shay Khaled here. Um, got to see us win live. Guy, it was a long tree. I saw him go red, and I was going to leg it out just, you know, just for the fans, and then it, uh, God, then it blew the tires off, and that was it. And we were lucky that happened. That's a great car over there, and that's why they're leading the points, but we're, we're catching them. This is Lucas. Donovan is down here. Alana is here. And I understand Alana's going to be allowed, uh, involved in the locks for love uh, coming up here shortly, right? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they, they're, 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 cousin hangs out and and uh they're contributing to it and it's and it's a great thing just i'm i'm so thrilled my kids are here my, my beautiful girl is with me and uh, i'm just really happy right now thank you very much you bet and we're gonna start you out with top fuel we're gonna go with the semi-final matchup between tony schumacher and antron brown the winner of this race would leave the event with the points lead and that was Antron Brown by getting the win over Tony Schumacher. Then how about Funny Car? You gotta go with the final round. They came in, Ashley Force Hood, Tony Petrgon tied for the points lead, and this was all Tony Petrgon wins on a whole shot. Wins the race and leads with the points lead. Great hey guys, job. Right here, baby. <laughs> all right. Hey guys, I'm out of juice, man. Then a pro stock, Mike Edwards and Jed Coffin. You've got to give this to Jed Coffin and his team to be able to win out of that right hand lane. They had the car stacked up against it, but boy, they came through big time. What a great job. And then pro stock motorcycle. Yeah, Jay, get on that roof. Let them know who's the man, because you are the man. Pro Stock Motorcycle, first round, though. Hector Rana, your number one qualifier. How about that Bailey Whitaker gets his first, corral, first career round win by taking out the number one qualifier on a hole shot. So, we've completed it. It's a weekend off, and then we're in Nor Norwalk, Mike Dunn. A weekend off after three in a row. I don't know how I'm going to take it, but I can't wait to get to Norwalk for some ice cream and some great racing. So our next qualifying show comes on Saturday, June 27th at 8 p.m.